Bears have signed veteran center Coleman Shelton from the Rams. It appears that this is a depth signing Mm -hmm. or a a competition sign where he would compete with Ryan Bates for the starting job. Yeah, it's clear to me that at this point, I should not get excited or think about the Bears spending big bucks on the center position. I could just put Jackson Powers Johnson completely out of my mind. Yeah, at this I don't. Point. I, I'm not sure I like that. You know, adding, he started all 17 games last year. Adding just another guy. I mean, maybe he has a, a, a leg up on Bates, but yeah. No, I, ho- I hope he's got a, a leg up. He's got to have a leg up on Bates. This is an actual starting center. That's what I'm saying. Like, right. He actually he played the position. So I th- honestly, this is probably the guy. This is probably going to so? be. I, I think it's going to be the Bears center. Yeah. Unless there's something, I mean, what am I not seeing here? You know, unless there is some move to be made in the draft. But, I mean, there's only a few guys that you would you would say in the draft that that, that could jump in and be your comfort. Because like, that position, we saw how important that is last year. Uh, yeah, Lucas I, Patrick was a mess. I, exactly. And I know the bar is very extremely low but you just need yeah. a guy to be serviceable at the position no not- you don't no you don't the bar isn't low. this this is I, I i disagree okay my bar is much higher now for center good well, for too long it's been just I, okay i agree the, it's the difference not premium a, though the they're difference- not gonna spend <sighs> okay dan according to pff coleman shelton last season in 1100 snaps only six penalties two sacks allowed Okay. That okay. That's fine. But did he, did he get to the second level? Did he do things that you can use in your game plan because you have him? He isn't. It, it, it's. I don't want to. A center is an offensive player, not a defensive player. A center is an offensive weapon, ideally. I mean, we've seen it. Look, we we've, we've had over the last three years. Who started at center? Probably more than anybody. Sam Mustafer. I mean, so Bad. we right. We, we have definitely seen this, but, Dan, here's the thing. We've seen a lot of below-average center play. If you bring somebody that, in like this who can play the position and not make a fool of himself I, out that's there. That's too low a bar. Uh, but but w- what are you going to do? What resources do you have to put in at that position, at center? This is from not a premium position. From a Rams blog, Turf Show Times, when they were assessing their own free agents regarding Coleman Shelton. What they put on him was stay in L.A. or Chicago Bears. Okay. So the Rams are going to try to keep the band together this offseason on the offensive line. However, Coleman Shelton voided the final year of his contract to make himself a free agent. He's an average center, but one the Rams have been able to rely on. They'll most certainly make a strong push to keep him. In the case that Shelton goes elsewhere, a team like the Bears makes some sense. Shane Waldron is the current offensive coordinator, was with the Rams from 2017 to 2020. Shelton knows the system and would be a good addition to a Bears offensive line in desperate need of a center. The center market's thinned out over the last few days. Teams in need of a starting caliber center could make a push for Shelton or simply wait until the draft. I I guess you're right. I guess he's the guy. And I guess they're just going to – that fine is good enough. I think at that position, that's what they have to think because of the resources being heaped in other directions. I mean, even look at the guy that we were talking about earlier, Kevin Byard, that he is your complimentary safety at a non-premium position. So, of course, it's going to be a guy that we have to look up and find out if it makes sense. So, yeah, it's not really inspiring. Look, I was thinking higher, but the way things have gone in this free agency with the guys that they have signed, and you were down with it, like with the, I was calling it some of this quantity over quality, but this is another move that falls in line with what they have done so far. This is a start. What I said was the bottom of the of your we second, think he's a the bottom yeah. of the second third of your roster, and the bottom third of your roster, like the the half of your roster, bottom half. Mm-hmm. This is a starter. <sighs> no, he is. But then you look at the rest of the offensive line and where the money is going, and right. eventually will go. Nate Davis is making some good money. Tevin Jenkins' final year of his rookie contract. Obviously, Braxton Jones in the midst of his rookie contract, and then the rookie right tackle as well. So you, you I mean. Ryan Poles has to think about paying the premium positions and settle. It is, Dan. You're right. It's an this is an average center, but I think he is he is a huge upgrade from Lucas Patrick. And sorry to say it, Cody Whiter, because I like Cody Whiter so much. And-